gentlemen thought I'd bring you along and show you this tank I'm looking at it uh, it uh, it was built a little while ago and back in the day it wasn't uncommon to see crazy stuff like this the nozzle is installed literally at the vert seam just up from the Gerseam vert junction look at the external pitting in this tank on the tank shell and if you go around this tank it has all kinds of added nozzles <laughs> including this one that overlaps the Gerseam and if you notice the repad is not welded to the neck of the nozzle <laughs> but look at this this example of an attachment weld that's uh, interesting and then it's got all kinds of nozzles like this that have been added probably to cover pinhole leaks and you can see that this one's obviously got evidence of a leak this is not flat back paint it's actually soot from a fire that's actually what I'm here for but uh, you look that this has got plenty of sins look at the undercut on that baby that's a patch on a patch that's not a, a repad for a ladder these are patches so that one back there is actually a patch on top of a patch uh, circular insert ones where things have been removed and there's another good one uh, a square patch, flush patch, with a nozzle on it. That's the inch and a half pipe. And if we measure that, I'll show you this. Kind of interesting. Six inches by four inches. But it's right above the Gerseam well. So, thought I'd show you that. Kind of interesting. Not every day to see tanks that that are in this poor condition but uh, this one's in pretty poor condition anyway thought you guys might enjoy that thanks for coming along